I have two watches in my hands. On my right is the Casio GA2100, which costs $179. And on my left is the North Edge Mars 3, which was only $29. Today we are going to film a video on how to the disassemble and reassemble digital watches. Despite the huge price difference, both have carbon fiber reinforced cases and come with water time timers and uh, other functions. So what's the difference in their internal structure? Let's take them apart and find out. If you own a Casio or North Edge watch, make sure to keep watching. I will also show you how to replace the battery, which might be very useful for you. Let's start with the Casio GA2100. First, use a closed screwdriver to remove the four screws on the back cover. Now the screws are removed, let's use the tweezers and the to carefully lift off the back cover. With the back cover removed, you can get a rough look at the, at the movement. There is an insulating film on top. Once removed, you can clearly see the movement's protective cover and the two batteries slots. Next. Let's remove the rubber gasket, take a closer look, this four spring metal tabs acts, acts as a button, contact and also help secure the movement. To remove the movement, you need to press down on these tabs one by one while gently lifting the movement. With the movement removed, let's examine the case structure. One interesting thing is that the button contact switches are built into this protective cover, which also serves as a positioning lock for the movement. All four buttons are mounted onto the case and have waterproof sealing. Next, let's remove the batteries, which are secured by two small clips. Simply use a tool to press the clips upward, and the batteries will come out easily. Before removing the batteries, take note of the period. Here you can take a photo and avoid the mistake during reinstallation. If you only want to replace the battery, you only need to do this step and then reinstall the new battery. But if you want to remove the cheap cover, you need to open the four free clips to separate the cover and the chip. But you don't need to remove anything except the battery clips, except for repair work and demonstrations like me. Let's continue to separate the motherboard and the display. The entire motherboard is fixed by three very small slotted screws. So we have to use tweezers instead of manual extraction. Note the place I marked with a red circle. There are four very small conductive springs under it to power the display. Please be careful when removing it after separating the screen and the motherboard. You can see that there are two gearboxes 
on the display side that relay on coil motors. The movement of the GA2100 watch can be seen that it is very thin and late, and all the functions are integrated into this small motherboard. It's amazing. I don't know if all Casio watch chips are made with this process, but the chip I have now looks very delicate. Now let's remove and to disassemble into the motor and the gear system. You can see that the motor drives a small gear, which then moves to larger gears, controlling the hour axis, minute axis, and the week axis before disassembly. I have already removed the hands. Let's switch the camera angle. So you can get a clear look at the internal mechanism. Now the gear system has been fully reassembled. Next, we will reinstall the conductive springs on the display. Then, secure in main board and uh, processed with the final assembly steps. During reinstallation of the movement, I record the entire process, hoping to help Casio GA2100 user follow my step to replace the battery. Before reassembling, keep these important points in mind. Check the movement's orientation. Even though they are element slows, Always double check to avoid installing it upside down. When putting the movement back, press down each of the mental tabs one by one to ensure a secure fit. Make sure the gasket and the insulating films are placed before attaching the back cover and tightening the screws. So there will be a hole on the insulating rubber pad that needs to be aligned with it and pass it through it. Assemble it step by step like this. And remember to test whether the function is intact after assembly. That's all for this issue. If you like my video, please subscribe to me or click a uh, like for me. In the next issue, we will release the disassembly video of North Edge Mars 3. Thank you.